So today we are going to talk about how to fuel motivation and what stops motivation. Let's consider motivation with three concepts. I want it, I like it, I get a reward. There is a difference between wanting and liking. Liking refers to the actual enjoyment or satisfaction. It is hard to activate because you need to constantly like their activity and get enjoy with this activity. Wanting is intense craving or anticipation for a pleasurable experience. It is a very powerful tool that might push us to keep chasing something even when the actual reward isn't that satisfying as we hoped. In other words, the brain can push us to pursue reward vigorously. It is high wanting even if the liking or pleasure we get is mild. Wanting something can be approachable or avoidant. Biologically, we have two main motivational systems, approach and avoidance. Approach motivation is linked with dopamine and reward. It's like, go get it. Avoidance motivation kicks in when there is a potential threat, negative outcome. It involves stress hormones like adrenaline, cortisol, pushing us to escape danger or pain, like I need to or I have to do it. Approach motivation is about exploring, like children playing an exhibit naturally. And avoidance motive is driven by fear. A healthy motivational profile means we have enough approach drive to pursue goals and enough avoidance drive to steer clear of hazard. The brain also weights efforts versus reward and evaluates whether a reward is worth the effort or not, or cost required. If the effort seems as too high for the payoff, motivation drops. This cost-benefit calculation mechanism is why we might procrastinate on tasks that feel very hard for little reward. Now consider I want, I like, and reward side. I want and I like together means intrinsic motivation, it means doing something because you genuinely enjoy or find it meaningful. These drives come from within your internal drive, your internal passion. Extrinsic motivation means doing something for an outside reward or avoid punishment. The drive comes from the external factors like money, grades, praise, or fear or failure. So let's summarize all of it. To be motivated long term, you need I want it, I like it, and I want a reward. And reward has to be equal efforts or higher than efforts. Even if you're not getting a reward, you need to want it and like it to do what you do in long term. Reward is positive when it's not concealing a natural enjoyment from the activity, but enhancing it. The key is that people thrive when they feel a sense of choice and personal value in what they do, rather than feeling bribed or pressured. So every single time when you want and like something, and this is your internal choice, you are most likely to start it with a high motivation level and continue doing it long term. If you've been pressured, if you have to, this is not a great motivation. We will continue talking about motivation topic. Bear with me. Share, like, and follow me for more content like this.